Every fighter wants to say at least once, they fought at Brooklyn Hall. And here we are, alongside me, Johnny. First up, Ice Cold from the United States of America. And they hold the SCI national title, coming off a TKO win. They'll be facing Ice Cold from the United States of America. Their last fight was a very close victory. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. And with that, let's go into the ring and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for six rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from the United States of America. Wearing the light pink trunks with blue trim. Ice cold! Hiding out of the blue corner from the United States of America. Wearing the pink trunks trimmed with pink. Ice cold! So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. This is going to be that fight. This is what people are going to be talking about forever and a day. Thousands of fans here in attendance tonight, but when the bell rings, there will only be two that we're talking about. They ring the bell, and here we go. Look at that right hand. And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. Punch, counter punch. Straight right just misses. The champion is back for another defense. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. When are we going to see a jab from these two? We're at the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. They're always looking for that KO, and we could see an upset right here. And Ice Cold has been knocked down. I think that will look even more dramatic in slow motion. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? One, two, three, four. Five. Are you all right? He's back on his feet, but at some point, you have to think about the next fight and not this one. He's up, but, but for how long? Look at her. On the heels. Look at her. There's nothing there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. It just takes one more clear shot. A clean one. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner is going to have their work cut out for them. That counter punch caught him clean. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. You've been put down. You've got to think right. Survive and then give it back the next round. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle. He's got to, he's got to bluff them. Can they finish it? And now they're right back into the fray. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once, they know they can get caught again. 
So for now, just defense, work on defense, blocking and stopping and shooting. He's putting the pedal to the metal, but it has to be... And at some point, the corner needs to think about stepping in here. And down goes Ice Cold. I don't know. I got to take another look at that. I need to see... At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination. Maximum respect. And down to the canvas goes Ice Cold. And look at that shot to the head, and there's no way they were going to stand up to that one. Shot from the gods, they say. A shot from the gods. Who's got the advantage here after both men tasted the canvas in that round? And they were heavy knockdowns, too. And there's the bell to start the round. Keep in mind, both of these fighters got knocked down in the prior round. That is showing the fitness, that is showing the stamina, that is showing the hard work done in the gym. If you can get knocked down and get back up and knock your opponent down, they've got it. That hook won't score. And he scores with the counter. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Oh my, that's a game changer. In, but needs to play some defense. And down goes Ice Cold. Let's watch that again replay from a different angle. You're right, Todd. What a shot. Need to pick things up here in the second half of the round. So this was an unexpected turn of events. What happens next? Go to waste time. Get step behind the referee. When he comes in close, tie him up. The referee's then got to paw you. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it. Because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and pull you down again. And that's a lot of points to lose in the round. Got to look at his corner, look for the instructions. They're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move, get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner somehow to get to the end of the round. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. So much for defensive abilities. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. Can make or break a fighter. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for him. What a knockdown. One minute. You need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down 
the mental strength and preparation is how you are going to do it. And he scores with the counter. You know they have an amazing relationship with their coach. They've been working together for a while now, and it's really paying off. His stamina is off the charts. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Missing with that right hook. There was the defense. This fight may stop here considering all the bruising and swelling on the face. Are you okay? So time back in. Let's keep fighting. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. It somehow weathered the storm. BJ's now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot. Clear the head a little bit. Then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. Missed with that right uppercut. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. What a nightmare scenario! And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. And there's the bell to start the round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. About one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. We've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Amazing win last time out to become the new national champion. Their vision is being impaired, no doubt about it, but is the referee going to stop it here? The fight is over. And he waves it off. That will do it. This fight is over. I was getting a little anxious there. It's a career-ending fight. Another TKO win here, Johnny. What's next? What's next? A TKO makes it so confusing because you think, what would have happened if the fight carried on? These guys are going to have to do it all over again because the TKO, to me, it doesn't tell us the full story.